Hey guys, Brian here with Wolf's Prairie Outdoors. Thanks for stopping by. I know the whole reason you guys are here is to see this Marlin 1895 SBL manufactured by Ruger. This is one of the first ones out. This is January 11th that I'm filming this. And guys, I can't begin to tell you how lucky I am to get this. Uh, of course, I wanted Marlin to send me one. Who doesn't? But that didn't happen. Um, I was actually driving from a job to another job. And I do fo a video photography for a living. And I was headed to another client. And I was passing my local gun range, CNC indoor range, and uh, they make ammo and everything as well. But I was uh, was passing by there, literally a quarter mile from the location. And Cheyenne is now one of my favorite people on earth. Uh, as I'm literally at the red light leading up to the range, I get a video from her. And all I had to see was the butt stock of this rifle. And when I saw the buttstock, I knew it was an 1895 SBL and I knew it was one of the new ones. I instantly ended the video and called her and said, do you have this in the shop right now? She said, yes, it's going on gun broker. I pulled in the parking lot, went inside and yelled out, stop that listing. That gun is mine. <laughs> I, uh, I had to have this. You guys have been requesting this all over Instagram and Facebook and messages and whatnot. And I wanted it for myself too. I want to see how good this thing is. They've claimed some awesome st statistics with it. And I had to get my hands on one. I cannot believe it actually showed up that, you know, just by happenstance, I was driving by when they got it in and were actually in the process of listing it on Gunbroker. I got really lucky to catch it. So Cheyenne, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But, uh, before we move any further, guys, don't forget to check the link for Big Daddy Unlimited below. They're one of the biggest sponsors of the channel. Also, Range Point Precision and Mason Leather or Cartridge Cuff Guy on Instagram. Use code WOLF10. Get 10% off your order. Great leather and, of course, great products from Ranger Point. Really appreciate all these guys working with us. Helps us out a lot. Also, we have a Patreon page if you guys want to support us through there. You know, anything you can do helps out because I bought this out of my own pocket and it wasn't cheap. I had to pay gun broker price just about to get this thing. But, you know, I wanted it. Wanted to give it for you guys and... It's a beautiful specimen, guys. As I'm talking about different parts of the rifle, I'll roll in some close-ups for you just so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm also going to compare it to my Remington-made uh, 2017 model 1895 SBL. I have, as you guys know, it was just a tactical lever gun for home defense. If you haven't seen the series, check it out right here. I uh, dug out all my old parts and put them all back on the rifle, everything I could find except for uh, the lever I didn't put back on there because I didn't want to risk damaging the pin. I don't know if the pins are identical or not and you can't get the old pins anymore so i didn't want to risk that so it still has the ranger point lever on it loading gate uh quick takedown screws and a comet break because i had it cut and threaded before we get to comparing the two rifles we're going to go over the details on this new rifle so you can see all the specs on it laid out and then we'll get to the comparison and yes it comes with your standard offset hammer spur as well just like you had before as you guys know this is the marlin 1895 sbl and this is the new production by the ruger factory the overall length of the rifle is 37 and a quarter inches, with the length of pull being 13.38 inches and the barrel being 19 inches long. It weighs 7.3 pounds. The barrel is made of 410 stainless steel and cold hammer forged, and this results in an ultra precise rifling that provides exceptional accuracy and longevity. The barrel has six grooves with a 1 in 20 right hand twist. It has a 6 plus 1 capacity. The barrel comes factory threaded with the thread protector, and it has 11 16 by 24 threads. It has an updated Picatinny rail system with an enlarged rear ghost ring sight and a tritium fiber optic up front for high visibility, low light shooting. The rifle comes standard with a durable laminate buttstock and forend. The checkering on the buttstock and forend is very sharp, allowing excellent grip in all weather conditions. The bolt is spiral fluted and nickel plated and it aids in smooth cycling of the action. Some of the fine details that have changed from the Remington version would be the location of manufacture on the barrel now reads Mayoden, North Carolina. On the barrel you'll now find a proof mark located on the left side of the rifle where it says RP. The traditional black and white Marlin bullseye located on the rifle stock is now in red and white. And now on the bottom of the pistol grip we now have the Marlin horse and rider logo laser engraved on the grip. The new 1895 from Ruger comes pre-threaded and has a beautiful thread protector. As you guys can see, the threads are crisp and sharp. They did a really nice job on this, guys. Really a very good factory option. I mean, now you don't have to spend the money to send your gun off and get it threaded. Because the threading is not necessarily the expensive part. It's the shipping to and from, transfer fees, the whole nine yards. So having it come pre-threaded from the factory is huge. And plus, 
in order to thread my 1895 from Remington, I had to cut it to thread it because the mag tube was too close. So I was going to lose a little bit either way. So that's a nice option. That way you still maintain your six plus one capacity if you want it. And it's just, it's really nice. I think that's just something these days with the suppressor use and muzzle brakes and anything you want to put on it, you know, that's just a nice factory feature. It's awesome for them to include because really it's not that much more on their end and it's value added for every one of us that wants it from the factory anyway. We're going to do it regardless. So huge props to them for doing that. Since we're on top, let's go ahead and move back. As you can tell, the sighting system is different from the Remington, which had the excess sight system. Great sight system, always was great, but as you would expect a company to do that is making their way in this market, they made their own version. This is a proprietary system for Ruger, for Marlin, and they have a tritium fiber optic up front super bright guys in low light that thing just glows it draws your eye right to it they did a phenomenal job with that when you come back to the rail uh, i'll pull up my other one for comparison as you can see here you get a couple extra slots up front because they have eliminated the full size area they've just cut out part of one rail and they've tapped into the barrel for that screw to go into it moving back slightly different setup for the two receiver screws on top and they added one extra slot at the back just in front of the sight. And now if you look at the two rear sights, you'll see that the excess sights is a little bit longer and the new Ruger one is a little bit shorter. By doing that, they were able to add that extra slot in the rail if you needed it for anything. I never had the need to mount anything back that far, so it wasn't an issue for me, but it does look nice. It just, it fills the space a lot better. Also, if you look at the new Marlin sight, you will see that you actually have notches on the sight base and the moving part of the sight that allow you to see where you are moving it left or right. You know exactly how you're adjusting this sight, guys. Before with the excess sights, you didn't always know exactly what you're doing. This way you can very easily see where you are, where you were, and where you're going. Really handy in my opinion. I'm really excited that it's a cold hammer forged barrel. I think that's gonna be a really nice touch. I cannot wait to get out and do some grouping with this. And we're gonna do a lot of grouping with this rifle and find out exactly what it likes going to shoot a ton of different ammo through this thing. Everything from cowboy loads to high power loads that roughly equate to a 458 Win Mag and recoil. So we're going to put this rifle to the test at least 100 yards, if not further, and see what kind of groupings we get out of these. I'm not going to worry about how accurate is Brian. I'm worried about how accurate is the rifle. I'm going to put a big old scope on here so I can get a nice close sight picture. And I really want to see what this thing's capable of. I want to put it to the test for you guys. You can tell they took their time in producing these. They didn't just mass produce them to get them out the door as fast as possible. They have put a lot of time and effort in this machining, in the fit and finish, and it shows. They really did a great job. One of the biggest things that stood out to me with this rifle when I opened the box is if I grab my Remington version, if you look at the buttstock and the forend, you see how yellow the wood on this Remington version is. There's hardly any stain in it. The checkering is almost laughable because there's really no checkering there. It's just a mild texture. This Ruger version has very positive checkering. You can feel that it's there and tell that it's checkering and it actually has color to it, which is really nice. You know, this from Remington was just banged out as quick as they could, get it out the door and make some more money. And that's ultimately what came back to bite them in the butt. You know, the, the fit and finish on this, if you look at the bottoms inset way in far, it's just, it was not appealing. It was slammed out and everybody could tell it. If you look at the fit and finish on the Ruger version, they did a phenomenal job. I mean, Cadillacs aren't perfect from the factory. This is obviously not a Cadillac, but you know, this is a Cadillac of lever action rifles. They did an amazing job with this fit and finish. I mean, the radiuses look great. I'm very happy, especially coming from this Remington version that has a gap that I can slide a piece of paper in between without even blinking. I mean, it's, it's awful how bad that was and that actually left the factory. Not to mention the lever. The lever that came on this rifle, on the Remington version, like I sanded this down because it was so sharp it would take skin off and it's still borderline where if you shoot it all day, you're gonna lose some skin on that. It's just, that's all there is to it. This is now a paperweight. I put a ranger point loop on there. It's deburred, it's smoothed out really nicely. But one thing I gotta give props to Ruger for is when you run your finger across the roll on this edge, I kid you not, it's actually 
right on par, if not a little better than the Ranger Point in some places. They did an amazing job with that. It just, it's radiused out really nicely. I would have liked to have seen a bigger finger hole in this, but it is what it is. I just like a little more room. And yes, for you guys wondering, you've still got that lovely floppy trigger. It's just the way it's going to be. If you don't want it, you replace it with an aftermarket one like Ranger Point or Wild West, or I think that's all there is out there really, guys. But, you know, that that's just, that's not going to cut it for me. I'm going to replace that. There's no question about it. But everything on it looks amazing. The fit and finish, the time they put into this, you can tell they actually cared about what went out the door. You know, unlike the previous version. It was <laughs> horrible. And... The polish on this is beautiful. They did a great job with the finish on it. I think that Ruger is really bringing them back into a new era. It's a classic rifle, and they have brought it back to what JM was, or possibly better. You know, it, there's a lot of features on this that weren't on the JM. And for one, we've got, yes, the rifle's clear, both of them are. We've got a spiral fluted nickel plated bolt. And guys, this thing is like butter. I mean, of course, you've got a little bit when you first get over the hammer, but it's just super smooth. It's slick as can be, and that is a huge bonus. I spent hours sanding on my action when I first got it, and it's still gritty, because I was just using 600 grit sandpaper. You know, I didn't know a ton when I started doing it, but I got the job done and got rid of a lot of the burrs and a lot of the things that were just catching. It made it very just annoying to work the action this is pleasurable it's just buttery smooth they did a great job with that and that bolt just looks amazing i mean if you look at that that looks like a custom bolt it doesn't look like your standard straight line black grooved bolt it looks really nice moving forward on the rifle you know loading gate was a nightmare on the remington versions and of course as you guys can see i replaced it with a ranger point one and that has done a great job for me it's worked very well the loading gate before, you know, they used to be so stiff. It was a nightmare to push anything in. You either had to bend it to the point that it would flex easily for you or replace it with something like that from Ranger Point. And I got to say, this one, like the spring tension on it, is pretty much on par with a Ranger Point. I have loaded and unloaded a mag tube, and it loads and unloads just fine. I've had zero issues out of it from the factory. I haven't touched it. I'm very happy with the fact that that from the factory is easy to load. You know, there's nothing worse than trying to fight to load rounds and especially something that is as big as a 4570. You know, the 357 rounds, they can be a bit of a booger to load every now and then, but that there should be no reason that's difficult to load. And they did a great job with this. Moving forward on the handguard, they have slimmed this handguard down over the Remington version and I think it's a really good idea they did that. You know, if you were holding it close and then you want to slide your hand out, it's easy because the forend is more tapered. Whereas on the Remington version, it was a big beefy forend and it would hook your fingers or, you know, if you were drawing out of a case, it would sometimes actually, I've had it grab before. So having that tapered is nice. Plus if you have gloves on, you're going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger with this giant handguard. So that is a nice touch. So what do I think about this new Ruger made Marlin 1895 SBL? If you don't know by now, you haven't been paying attention. I love this rifle, hands down. I think this is what Marlin should have been all along. It is amazing. The fit and finish I've said a thousand times in this video is awesome. The bolt cycles so smoothly. It's a joy to operate. The sights are amazing. So easy to see in low light conditions. I turned the light off in here last night and I was able to see that glowing through the, uh, through the rear aperture. So they did a really good job with that. Coming pre-threaded is awesome. I don't have to send it off to get threaded, which is always a nightmare. Is my gun gonna get lost? Is it gonna get broken? You always wonder all these things, plus you gotta pay for all that shipping and transfer fees. It's a nightmare to have to deal with that. So them pre-threading this is huge. I hope most, if not all, of the lever guns that are coming from them in the future are pre-threaded. It just makes sense this day and age that they come pre-threaded. They know everybody in the lever gun world wants to suppress them now, or at least put a big break on them. So pre-thread the rifles, guys. That's a huge benefit. If there's something you guys want to know that I haven't covered in the video or something you want to see in future videos, let me know. Drop it in the comments below. If you got a question, just something I, I hinted on that I didn't go into enough detail for you, let me know down below and I'll get to it. it. Might take me a little while. I've had a ton of comments and questions about this gun and emails and social media everywhere, so I will get to it. Just might take me a little bit, but 
yeah guys this is an awesome rifle if you've got a chance to get one definitely add it to your collection you will not be disappointed i cannot wait to get out and do some shooting like i said i've got to go to shot show i'll be there all week and then the following week i've got to come back and edit the entire week for my client that i'm going for so i will be tied up for the next two weeks after that i will get out and do some shooting and we are going to see just how accurate this rifle is you guys know i've hinted and done a little bit i love precision shooting so I'm going to see just how accurate this is, and if I've got enough ammo, we might be taking this thing out quite a ways and see what we can do with it and see just how far this thing will stretch. That's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. Share us with your friends. It helps with the algorithm. It helps get us in front of more people. We are almost at 20,000 subscribers. We're less than 1,000 away, so definitely share us with your friends and help us break that 20,000 mark, and we're about to break 10,000 on Instagram, so go over there and give us some love. Help us share everything over there and help us grow over there as well. We want to hit that 10,000. And guys, we just really appreciate all your support. I, I still cannot believe that this channel has grown into what it is off of me wanting to start the channel because I, you know, I started the channel hunting with my 4570 because I kept hearing guys say you're going to blow a deer in half if you shoot it with a 4570. And I got tired of hearing that. So I started the channel to say, no, it's shot placement and cartridge selection. And here we are today. 94 videos later 95 videos later and nearly 20,000 subscribers and never expected this guys i cannot thank you enough your support is awesome i really appreciate it i just i never expected to be in this position and it's a joy to be able to bring these videos to you i'm sorry i have lapses in posting we have a lot going on in our lives we're still trying to get our homestead built and everything combined with the fact i've got a two-year-old too who likes to stay up until 11 30 or 12 o'clock every single night makes it difficult to get things done, but I'm working as fast as I can to get content for you guys. And like I said, we got a lot of cool stuff coming. I've got, uh, in the line of lever guns, I've got a Bighorn Armory Model 89 coming back, and we're going to have a lot of fun with that thing. I've got some great ammo lined up, some fun testing. We're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to revisit our home defense lever gun series and do some really cool shooting with that. we got some great penetration stuff coming up. A lot of good things in the works, guys, so definitely stick around. Like I said, give us a big thumbs up, share, with you, share us with your friends, and check back often. Have a good one.